even before the estate officially opens to visitors. The residents of Mount Vernon are wide awake at the crack of dawn. The livestock team arrives every day bright and early at 7.15 a.m. to feed the animals on site. The team first prepares the various types of feed. Each species of animal has their own special mixture. Once the feed truck is prepared, buckets of water and stacks of hay are loaded onto a truck. Then they're off to feed the hungry animals. Mount Vernon is home to several heritage breeds. Many of these are descendants of animals that existed when George Washington was alive. The pigs are a rare breed known as Osaba Island hogs that were brought to the New World over 400 years ago by Spanish explorers. Mount Vernon is also home to cattle called Milking Devons. These cattle were essential to George Washington. They were a source of meat, dairy, and labor. The oxen are still used for farming demonstrations. The Hogs Island sheep are a breed native to Virginia, dating back to the 1600s. Modern visitors can observe shearing demonstrations of our sheep and visit the newborn lambs in the spring. Everyone needs a vacation now and then. The sheep and other animals are periodically rotated in groups from the historic part of the estate and kept behind the scenes at the stables where they relax and are tended to for any medical issues. Washington himself was an acclaimed horseman and kept a full stable of horses on the estate. Today, we have draft horses that pull wagons, plow, and harrow the fields. The father of his country was also known as the father of the American mule. George Washington began breeding mules at Mount Vernon after he received a stud jack from the King of Spain in 1785. Part of running a successful farm in both the 18th century and today is ensuring that your team of animal workers are well cared for. Our livestock crew are on site 365 days a year, maintaining the well-being of the animals with affection and care the way George Washington himself would have wanted it.